In this video, we'll see how to use the functions pivot, pivot table, melt, stack, and unstack to restructure the shape of a data frame. Suppose you have a data frame DF like this. There's a good chance you'll want to reshape that data to look like this. Here we converted the data from long format to wide format. Some people would say we converted the data from stacked format to unstacked format. For better or worse, there are a ton of ways to do this in pandas. Perhaps the simplest method is to use the pivot method of a data frame. In this case, we call df.pivot, telling pandas which columns we want to use for the row index, column index, and values. Now suppose df had slightly different data and looked like this. What do you think the same call to df.pivot would return in this case? Trick question, we actually get an error here because there are multiple instances where multiple values in the input map to the same exact position in the output and we haven't told pandas how to deal with that. This is where the more general pivot table method comes in. Pivot table works just like pivot, but you can specify an aggregation function to tell pandas how to deal with multiple values mapping to the same place. To make this more clear, suppose we call df.pivot table, setting index equals row, columns equals col, and values equals val, just like before, but here we also specify agfunc equals list. Here, it's pretty obvious to see that 67 and 9 mapped to the same location because they had the same row and call values. Agfunk tells pandas how to deal with those values, in this case wrapping them into a list. Also note that the combinations row0, call0, and row1, call1 didn't exist in df, so pandas fills those entries with nan by default. Now, you're probably not interested in pivoting data just to build lists of values. More interestingly, you can use aggregation functions like mean, or sum, or size, or count, or a combination of all of them. This works just like doing normal data frame aggregation. So, for example, if you wanted to get the count and sum of elements mapping to cells in the output table, you could do something like this. As you could probably guess, Pandas supports this kind of pivot operation using multiple columns for the row index, column index, and values. So if you have input data like this, you can do crazy stuff like this. By the way, my column index in this data frame has four levels, which is pretty nuts. So far, we've been looking at ways to reshape a data frame from long to wide format. But what if we want to do the opposite, go from wide to long format, i.e. unstacked to stacked format? For example, consider this data frame that shows two students' scores on four tests. If we wanted to reshape that data frame to look like this, the tool for the job is melt. Here's what that looks like. The most important parameter here is value vars, which should be a list of the columns you want to stack, in this case, John and Patty. In fact, that's literally all you need to provide for this function to work, although the output isn't very friendly without other information. Var name and value name tell pandas how to name the new variable and value columns, and ID vars tells pandas what other columns from the original data frame you want to keep in the result. Two other tools for reshaping data frames are the stack and unstack methods. For example, if you have a data frame of daily stock prices like this, and then you call df.stack, Pandas reshapes the data frame into a series, literally stacking the values of ABC, D1, 
DEF and GHI within each original row index, resulting in a two-level multi-row index. Things get a little trickier when DF has a multi-index column. Consider this data frame. So Stack's most important parameter is called level, and it tells Pandas which level or levels from the column index you want to stack into the row index. Let's see some examples keeping in mind that our pets data frame has two levels in its column index, type with values dog and cat, and subtype with values Persian, Calico, Corgi, and Lab. If we call pets.stack with level equals type, you can see how the first level, type, gets extracted from the column index and inserted into the row index, and the data realigns itself accordingly. Pretty much the same thing happens when you call stack with level equals subtype. Note that by default, stack is called with level equals negative one, which automatically stacks the last column level into the row index. So in this case, pets.stack with no parameters returns the same thing as pets.stack level equals subtype. You can also call pets.stack with levels set to a list like type, comma, subtype, in which case both column levels are stacked into the row index and the result is a series, not a data frame. Just as pandas gives us a stack method for stacking column levels into row levels, it also gives us an unstack method for unstacking row levels into column levels. So where we have pets.stack level equals type, we can do almost the inverse operation with dot unstack level equals type. Although in this case, type becomes the second level of the column index and all the NANs created by stack get retained as columns with unstack. <laughs>